Hello everyone, I'm talking pantries today. So what's your pantry like? What do you want to put in your pantry? What are my suggestions of what to have in your pantry? So let's have a look over here. I do actually have a pantry, but it's got mostly saucepans in it. And in there, there are packets of organic pasta um, and some packets of organic agar, agar, and some packets of um, organic things, just a few things, not much, because mostly I get everything in bulk. So look, have a look over here. I know what's in there. There's mustard, organic mustard. I get that in a glass jar. Um, so I buy things from the local health food shop. I take my glass jar down and I fill them up. And I have a lot of things because I have a cooking school and so I need a lot of things on hand. So for example, I've got this massive jar of pinto beans. I don't need that many pinto beans, um, but it's okay with beans because they last. They don't need to go in the fridge. So some things can easily go rancid. So what I suggest is find the jar that's the right size or for, your, for you and your situation. So if it was just me and Mac, this is the 750 ml of pinto beans. That's the, set, the jar I would be getting for anything that I'm, I'm buying from the shop. So if you live in warm climates, you do need to put some things in the fridge. You can't have them out here on the shelf because we get those tiny insects that we are afraid of and we're not going to eat called weevils. So weevils can go in to flowers and grains, like um, they can come in rice and quinoa. And so those sorts of things may need to go in the fridge. The other thing that can go off easily is flowers, of course, so they may need to go in the fridge or by smaller quantities, and also nuts. Did I talk about nuts? They can go rancid. So you want smaller size jar for your nuts. So have I got a jar that I'm looking? I've got a jar that's about half this size for what I get my nuts in. So yeah. Um, and then, yeah, if you haven't got space in the fridge, of course, you use your small jar. But for spices as well, it's great to buy them bulk. Just let's blitz this plastic and getting things in plastic bags from the supermarket. Find your health food shop, buy small jars for spices. So I have a 300 ml jar for spices, but you don't need that much. I have a cooking school, that's why I need that much. So a 100 ml jar would be perfect and get your spices nice and fresh. I hope that that's in, um, interesting information and please like, subscribe and share this video and check out my um, VIP package. See what you think of it and if you would like to have a free chat about it to see if it's a good fit for you, then um, that would be awesome too. Lots of love. Have a great weekend. Bye.